My name is Taylor and today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of filament dust as well as how to fix the sharp angle on the CR-10S Pro. So in some cases it can look a lot worse than this but um, filament dust is just when the filament is going in and it's getting scraped up and then there's just a bunch of filament dust everywhere most likely due to the sharp angle that it comes in at. So first we're going to head over to thingiverse.com and then we're going to download the CR-10S Pro roller guide. That's basically going to be the part that's going to roll it in smoother. And then we're going to come over and download the filament guide, which is going to guide the filament down to the roller. So out of those files, we're going to need the Ender 3 filament guide, but that guide will work with any Creality printer that has that bracket. Uh, and then the CR-10S Pro infeed body, the pin, and the CR-10S Pro wheel. So now you're just going to throw it into your slicer and then go ahead and print it. So the thing that messed up for me is in my G code, I didn't have G28, which is uh, home all axes. So here's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know exactly why that got taken out of the G code or script. I don't know. But uh, I'm just going to go back in here and put G28 back in there. So if that ever happens to you for some reason, uh, that's the fix for it. So now I started the print again and it actually started printing correctly. But whenever I was aligning it, um, the pin was set at like a horizontally so it could not print. So uh, whenever it was trying to print, it was getting it everywhere. So for that, I had to go flip the pin 90 degrees so it would print from the bottom up instead of trying to print horizontal lines. So that's the fix for that if that happens to you also. So let's reprint it. So all of our pieces successfully printed and for the one that I'm using, you're going to need a 608 bearing. It comes in a fidget spinner or skateboards or I have it linked in the description, just a few bearings. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, we also have a file in the folder that requires no bearing. So now you're just going to take that bearing and put it inside the wheel and then press really hard and it will go in there. You might have to use something else to help you push it in, but it will go in eventually. So after you got it all pushed in, it should roll around the bearing pretty smoothly. Then you can go ahead and put it in the bracket and put the pin through it and it'll all be locked together. Now you can go ahead and remove the spool from the spool holder and then unmount the bracket off of the printer by using a number two Allen wrench and then it came off pretty nicely. Now you can go ahead and remove the spool holder from the bracket and then you can take your filament guide and push it down through there. Don't push it down too far though because we still need to leave some space so we can screw the bracket back down. Now you can go ahead and put the spool holder back in and then go ahead and screw it back down. After it's all tight, go ahead and push the filament guide all the way down to the bottom. Next, we're going to go ahead and heat our nozzle up to 200 degrees Celsius so we can pull the filament out. So I just pushed together those clamps and then pulled it all the way out so we can put it through the filament guide and the roller. So now it's time to install our 3D printed bracket. So all you got to do is line it up with the notch on the printer next to the filament and then just push it in and it should snap into place. Now you can go ahead and put your filament back onto the spool holder and then you can go ahead and fit it through the guide and then put it into the roller. Go ahead and keep pushing it through until you see filament coming out of the hot end. So that is it. We are all finished up. So that'll stop the filament dust problem and it will help it come in at a better angle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope it helped you out. I'll also be linking all of the files, uh, products, and everything like that down in the description. This has been Taylor, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.